Hello guys, welcome to this new video of HSC ICT practical series. This is the seventh experiment. Name of this experiment is input output statement of C programming. To do this task, we'll need of a C programming IDE that consists of C compiler. We'll use code blocks to do our C programming task. Okay. We are taking a new file, new empty file and first thing we have to save it we will save this on this folder we are naming this program as experiment 7 input output statement okay and the file type will be c or c++ okay now we have to include the standard input output header file then the main function then the code body we are trying to print something with printf function the line or any statement we want to print in output console we have to write in between this quotation mark say for example this is our first C program and in C programming this is the syntax to end any statement or command with semicolon then the program should return to 0 or the initial position ok now let's save it and build the program and run okay see this is the output this is our first c program okay and there are the other information about the program execution time or something okay Now we want to take a variable, we don't want to print this again, by adding those two slashes we are saying the compiler not to compile this line or run this line, okay. This is called commenting in programming languages, okay. Now we want to take a variable say for example we are taking integer type variable yeah. and the variable name we are naming this a a equal 5 okay this is the end of the command then we want to print it in our print console by the help of printf function we we'll write percent d that means this is a decimal one that's why we are taking percent d comma 
the variable name is a okay now again save it and run see in the output window 5 has been printed okay now we want to take input from the user okay how can we do it see we can do it simply by scanf function it is a function to take input from the user we'll write percent d comma m percent a this is called pointer in c that means in the place a the compiler will take input a integer type input and then store it to a okay let's run it see now the output console is just asking for a input if we input 10 and press enter let's say okay now it will be more easy to understand now again run it see if you write 10 the value of a is 10 okay we can write a printf before the scanf function by saying input the value of a save it and run it again sorry we have just missed the semicolon that's why it's saying some error and saying to add a semicolon before scan a function okay again run it input the value of a uh, now we are inputting 15 see the value of a is 15 okay i think you have understood the input and output statement of c programming let's move on to the writing part this is the theory of input output statement in c programming these are the equipments we have used in these tasks this is the step by step procedure and these are the syntax we have used and the descriptions hope you have understood the task thanks